Hello, all my young friends. It's nice to see you. Happy Sabbath. Well, today during the service, you might have already heard a phrase, and you're going to hear it again, I bet, during the sermon, too, a phrase called religious liberty. And you might be wondering what that means, and I try to think of a way to help you understand it. So I'm going to give you an example. Now, I want you to imagine that you're just standing around some, sometime, somewhere, and you see me come up to somebody else, let's say another adult, and you see me walk over to this person, and I say to them, excuse me, do you have any money in the bank? And the other adult says, oh yes, I do. I have, I have quite a few thousand dollars in my bank account, as a matter of fact. And then you see me say, would you please give me all the money in your bank account? No. <laughs> well, Emmanuel, I guess I'm not gonna ask you, am I? So you see me ask them, could you please give me all the money in your bank account? Now, I want you to imagine you're seeing this and there's two ways they could answer, right? They might say yes or they might say no, right? That's a pretty obvious choice. If the person says yes, did I force them to give me all their money? No. no. So why are they giving me their money? If they're choosing to give me their money and they're not even upset about it, they just go, yes, you can have all the money in the bank. Well, then how do you think they feel about me? I think if somebody gave me all their money and I didn't even force them or have to beg them or anything, I just said, give me all your money and they gave me all their money, they must like me at least a little bit, right? I can't imagine really giving all my money to somebody that I didn't like. Now, here's my other question. Let's say that instead of choosing to say, yes, I'll give you all my money in the bank account, they say, no, I'm not going to give you the money. All right? Why didn't they give me the money? They didn't want to. They just didn't want to, right? It's pretty easy. They had a choice, didn't they? They could choose yes or they could choose no. All right. Now, you're still right there watching that person that I was talking to, and I leave, and then I come back five minutes later, and I walk up to them and I say, you still have all that money in your bank account? And they say yes. And then I reach in my pocket and I pull out a big black gun and I point it at them and I say, give me all the money in your bank account. Uh -oh. Okay. Now, they have two things they can say. They could say yes or they could say no, right? But which one do you think they're going to say? Yes. They're probably going to say yes. Because even though they could still say no, what do you think will happen if they say no? Now, you've got you to think for a moment that it's not really, really me in this story, right? I mean, if you, if you know me, i probably not actually going to pull the trigger on this gun. But if they're standing there with a gun pointed at them and they say no, what's probably going to happen? What do you think? They might get shot, hurt, or even killed. On the other hand, if they give me the money, they say, yes, you can have all the money in my bank account now. Why did they give it to me? Because they, they didn't want to get shot, hurt, and killed. Are you sure? You sure it wasn't that because they like me a lot? No. No, it's not. That's not the reason now. The reason has changed. Hmm. Keep that example in your head for a moment while I ask you three questions. What day is the Sabbath day? Seventh. Seventh day of the week, right? Okay. Why is the seventh day of the week Sabbath? Because. God rested it on that day. Because God rested on the day. Yeah, God selected it. He rested it. He hollowed it and blessed it and said, this is the Sabbath. Okay, so the third question is, so then why do you keep the Sabbath? Yes, Elian? Because we believe in Jesus. Okay, because we believe in Jesus. And not even just that, but there's another little part of it I'm looking for. What do you think? Why do we keep the Sabbath? Hmm, that's an interesting answer. I'm going to come back to that one. One more answer, anybody? Why do we keep the Sabbath? What do you think, Leanna? Because we love Jesus. Ooh, I like that answer a little bit better than I like the other answer. So, if you see me going to church on Sabbath, and I get up in the morning and I have a choice, I could go play baseball in the park. I could sleep in another three hours. But instead, I decide I'm going to get up and go to church and I'm going to go and spend the day among people who love God and then I'm going to spend time with my family. I'm going to think about God. I'm going to avoid doing things that distract me from God. Why do you think I'm doing it? Is it because I'm being forced to do it? No. 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 I can force myself. I could say in my heart, if I don't go to church, then God is not going to love me and He won't take me to heaven. But that's not really the truth if you study about it. So instead, I'm choosing to go to church on Sabbath. And if I choose not to go, do I have a choice? Yeah. 
Sure, I've got a choice. Just like the guy can choose not to give me the money, if I'm not pointing a gun at him, he can easily make that choice. No, I'm not gonna give you my money. But now, what would happen if someday there was a law that said everybody has to go to church on Sabbath or you get thrown in jail and you have to pay a lot of money. Now, I get up in the morning, I get dressed in my Sabbath clothes, I go to church, I spend the day with people who love God, I spend the day thinking about God, but why am I going to church? Because of the law. Say it again. Because of the law. Because of that law, right? Because I'm being forced to go. I don't really have much of a choice unless I want to get in big trouble. Well, you guys, that's the whole point of religious liberty. God wants us to choose to love Him. He loves us already. There's nothing you can do that'll keep Him from loving you. There's nothing you can do that'll make Him love you more either. He loves you a hundred million percent already. But He wants us to choose to love Him back. So that's why it's important that whenever you get a chance, as you, get, as you grow up, as you learn more things, if you ever get a chance to stand up and say, hey, People need to have a right to choose to love God and to choose how they worship God and to choose when they worship God. You make sure you take that opportunity and stand up for Him. But in the meantime, even right now at the age you are, no matter who you're around, you can show them that God loves them. And that will be the best reason ever for them to want to know more about God, to keep His Sabbath, and to be His friend. All right, let's close our eyes and pray real quick. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you give us a choice that you made us that way because you want us to choose to love you. You don't want to force us to love you. Help us to make that choice every day and to make the right choice and to show other people how loving you are. We love you. Amen. Amen. You may go back to your seats.